It's the only way I can open my eyes. <laughs> I have not sunglasses since Chiang Mai because I just lose them. So it's just, I may as well throw my money away. And uh, the sun is trying its hardest to make an appearance. And it's so bright. I know it doesn't look like it, but it really is. It hurts to open your eyes, so. Because we haven't got sunglasses, I just have to use my hand binoculars mm. to see. And I'm gonna maybe have a little look with the drone. And then, I don't know, we're gonna just wait for the sun because I can feel it. It's hot, I can feel it. And it's very humid. And it's really bright, but. Oh, here it is, I can feel it. Oh, like, can you, you'll see more than I can see right now. This looks nice. It is so bright. I feel like I've been locked inside for five years. It's freezing when you get in, but when you're in, it's actually okay. So hot that the cool water's like, stops you sweating instantly. But for the last like three days, I've done something to my shoulder. I've got like a trapped nerve in my back or something. And this is like the most at ease it's been for the last three days. So I can't have a deep, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> can't take deep breaths or do sudden movements and I just went a little bit too deep then and it hurt so shallow water only to cool down it is I can live with that bit of island life are you coming to join? As creatures, so you fold it in the right place. Do you mean my mat or my hat? Both. <laughs> and he just scrunched it up. I've nearly ruined my straw mat. Now, Demi and Shannon will understand the struggle I had trying to get this mat because he wouldn't let me have it. And I bought it in Cully Paves, like, you'll get one everywhere. I ain't seen one since we left Thailand. And he just nearly ruined it. And that's for my hat. And it was hot. And I didn't want to carry it, okay? Oh, did you see those puppies though? No joke, I would have happily picked them up, put one in each bra, one in each pocket, one in each shoe, no one would have even knew any different. So we're just uh, Chris is like, come on, I want to do the drone. And I was like, yeah, but I want to see the puppies. So I want to know, do you want to see the puppies or do you want to see the drone? What do you want to see more? Because I think the cuteness of the puppies is just overloading. So tell us. Definitely the drone. Definitely the puppies. <laughs> Here we are, closer than we ever were. Heart and soul, whatever come between us. Fear no gods, hope we never can stars. Hands to Mars, no one ever will. After that little drone sesh, 
Do you want to answer that question again? Puppies or drone? Yeah. Puppies! Drone! Yeah, but the drone looks amazing every day. The puppies will grow up and not be cute anymore. <laughs> so it's puppies, isn't it? Get your comment on. Puppies or drone? Puppies. Tell us. Hashtag puppies. So we're just sitting here sunbathing and having a nice little chat and then we look up and we've gone from this to this. Storm is coming. Here's our new friend. <laughs> well it was nice while it lasted but it looks like it's gonna absolutely tip down as you can see in the back. So we're seeking refuge back in our room before it starts raining because we've got a hot shower uh, so the accommodation situation on the island is pretty expensive so you're looking at the average sort of price on here for your private room is around about a thousand to one thousand to twelve hundred peso per night is your your average kind of i just nearly got knocked out by coconut oh my god so we managed to get, because we're staying here for like a week, we managed to get a, a private room. And there's no windows in it. However, we sleep good because there's no rooster noise and there's no karaoke noise. Yeah, there's no noise. So hot water as well. And that come to 700 peso we managed to barter. So the longer that you're here, you can get a better deal. Also, where we're staying, they have uh, dorms for 400 peso per night. So again, if you come, you can probably haggle a better deal. They do so. ask you though, not to tell anyone that you've got it for a better price. So we are sorry, budget in, mm. but we have to share our news with you guys, don't we? So don't tell anyone <laughs> that you found out from us, okay? Which one do you want? This one! <laughs> you are so cute. Hey! Hey! Yeah, I'm so happy. Gotta keep it! Puppies or drone? Look at the puppy! Look at the puppy! He stinks so flipping bad. Wet dog. Time for thousands. Oh. Puts you off your food. It's that smelly. And I love dogs. <laughs> this dog smells like Chris's foot when we're in Cebu. I don't know what it is about Cebu that makes his feet smell as bad as they do. But you've got some whipping feet, haven't you? <laughs> so we went out for dinner and we went to a place called Gingings. And food's really quite cheap. So we can eat for about 260 between two of us and that's you know how much this guy eats right we do mention it quite a lot he eats like a horse so both of us eating for 260 is really good and we go to ging gings because the food's really nice and it's really cheap anyway gonna let you go because as you can see i need my beauty sleep and we've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow of doing absolutely nothing on the beach again. So we'll see you there. If you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. Hopefully um, you'll all let us know what you prefer, puppies or drones. I think I'm going to win. I'm quite confident in my little furry friends. What do you reckon? <laughs> what was the question? Oh, forget it. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Like, sub, and leave a comment and let us know. This guy hasn't got a clue what's going on. It's the simple things in life.